of the engineering building and then you have uh, what we have here engineering workshop and we have the engineering workshop and laboratories right there so I don't think I'll go in because there are some areas that I've not shown you let's see if I can just progress and show you how it looks like so uh, there is a gate here on the left side this gate actually takes you to the KU and referral hospital the KU research and referral hospital so uh, let's go back which other place have I not shown you I think you saw the amphitheater but not on a close range so let me see if I can show you on my way back I just remembered uh, just before we joined this path heading us towards uh, the engineering block and the business school I have just remembered I didn't show you the Nyaya hostels I hope the gate is open let me see if I can show you how the hostels look like I may not go in but then uh, just a view from outside you know so that you have a glimpse of how the hostels look like back to the footpath or rather the footbridge We do have the Nyaya Hostels map here. The good thing is, if you're a new student, you are able to see how the area looks like. And then we have the Nyaya Kitchen. I think that used to be called uh, was it the Western Western Zone Kitchen? We have uh, another path takes you to the other side. We have the Nyaya One, Two, Three, Four Nyaya Flats. So this path here takes me to Nyayo 2 and 4. So the good thing is they are directions. So if you are planning to join the university, you are a new student, a first year, and you are worried, oh my goodness, this is such a massive university. The good thing is there is very nice labeling. You cannot get lost at all. So let me see if I can just proceed all the way. It's a bit deserted. And we also have sections whereby you can just sit as you're waiting for your next lecture. Let's say, for example, you don't want to sit in the hostel. You don't have a lesson. You don't want to go to the library. Just come here under these trees and have a seat. You know? Right there is the Nyayo 3 hostel. We have a path here that uh, connects you to the other side of the buildings. I may not be able to show you every hostel. Now, this is the Nyaya one. It's one of the old hostels we have. I can't remember which one belonged to the boys and which one belonged to the girls. So, it's you for you to find out. So that's still the Nyaya one. To the Nyayo 1 hostel and then on the other direction takes you to Nyayo 2. Pretty much the same thing so I may not be able to cover all the grounds you know. Just uh, Nyayo 1, 2 hostels. Okay. All students use these hanging lines. Uh, once you wash your clothes, you can just uh, hang the clothes there. In case you want to prefer washing from outside, we have a tank there in the top. You have to practice good hygiene, you know. I can go. 
go towards this direction. We have, uh, I think it's a Nyayo 4, this is Nyayo 3, right there, that's Nyayo 3. And we have a very nice mini pack. Then this is Nyayo 4. Quite big. Let me see if I can connect Nyayo 5 and 6. So that's the back side of Nyayo. Nyayo 4. We have uh, special areas for washing your hands. I don't know if it's working. Let's try out. We have disconnected the water first of all. This is nine four. It's closed. That's the back side of Nyayo 3, Nyayo 2, and I think I showed you Nyayo 1, that was the first one. This is the common room, you know, in the common room you can actually come and watch uh, anything that you want. We have a very big television there, you can watch uh, soccer. Those people who love soap operas, well, for you to find out. I don't know which hostel is this. There are quite many. You can see there's another one. As I told you earlier on, I mean, I'm just showing you a glimpse of how things are here. I want to see if I can connect to the Nyayo 5 and 6. Those are the modern uh, hostels that you have. If the place is open, let me see. Uh, I can't really connect. There is a guard there, and I think they don't allow people to go there. So we have the Nyayo 5 right there, then we have the Nyayo 6. Now they are a bit different from this other Nyayo 4, 3, 2, and 1. The Nyayo 1, 2, 3 are a bit old, but then the Nyayo 5 and 6 are quite new. In most cases, it usually hosts some of the guests we have, like. There was a time we had uh, we had come to participate on the IMF um, competition. Was it the IMF? I can't remember. But then they were hosting people from different parts of the world. They're quite modern and they have actually been renovated. Yeah, so that was the tour of the hostels. Let me see if we can show you the other side. Then we have, um, I think we have a mess here. They used, there used to be a mess here, I can't remember the name. At some point we had uh, lectures here. So much has changed, let me say that. So many buildings have been constructed. It's, it's not the same KU that I knew way back. You can see there's another hostel right behind here. So let me go back. This is the Nyayo kitchen. It used to be a mess. Uh, we used to eat here. It was called the Western Zone. I think it's the Western Zone if I'm not wrong. But then uh, right now they're calling it the Nyayo kitchen. It has been it has been renovated. It, it never used to be this new. It was very old. You can see how it looks like. Very nice and let me stop peeping like that, it's a bit creepy. So let's uh, proceed. I just love the fact that uh, one can actually have very many chill spots, you know. If 
you are a student at Kenyatta University and you're failing exams, shame on you. Because the place is really conducive for studies. Very cool. There's no place you can say that is um, not conducive for studies, you know. You can go to the library. You can sit under these trees. You can see so many benches right there. And as I mentioned, this is the only university in Kenya that has an arboretum, you know. I believe that Kenyatta University is the best public university in Kenya. Everyone is mentioning University of Nairobi. I'm not sure you did convince me. Uh, in case you think otherwise, kindly just share it on the comment section. Right there is the footbridge. Should I use the footbridge? Hmm, I'm so tempted. Yeah, why not? Let's go. We can have a view, probably, of the uni. That's a very good idea. <sighs> the stairs, man. Okay, so I want to see if I can use the footbridge so that I'm, get, I'm able to get an aerial perspective of some of the parts of the university which probably I was not able to capture when I was showing you around. That's a get. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Whew. I am so tired. Oh, I need to rest. You can see. Right there is the exit. Now this connects me to the other side. And that's where we came from. So let's see what we can we can find out. Right there, School of Engineering. Guys, pardon me from panting. Eh? I'm tired, extremely tired. That leads you to KM. I, what is the full name of KM? Is it the Kenya Market? I don't know. Kenya University Market or something. Okay, so I just want to see if I can link. Cross that direction. No, now right now I'm right on top of the railway. You can see this railway. The railway actually goes all the way, cuts across KM, goes all the way to the bypass, the Membley bypass and the Membley estate. This university is big, trust me. It's colossal. Let me use that word. This is a colossal university. And you can see right in front of us is the amphitheater. We can only see the roof part. This is where we came from. That's the amphitheater. Let me see if I can go down. Whoa, look at that skyline. And we have a very nice sunset giving us a very nice scenic view. Which the, and now we have some more hostels right there. I can't remember the name of the hostels but then right there we have the students business center then we have the amphitheater then we have uh, twin towers is uh, right there I'm sweating I'm sure the guard who allowed me in must be wondering. This lady is not coming out. <laughs> Yet I've actually used the foot cut just to cut a course. I'm so determined today to finish showing you the areas I didn't show you previously. So I hope you, won't, you actually watch the video to the end. I'll really appreciate it. And subscribe if you've not done so. 
that's the entry point I came from. And now we have uh, the amphitheater. I'll just progress straight. We have the amphitheater right there. It's quite big, but then they have closed the gate. I don't think I can be allowed in. So most cases when we have uh, the indoor activities, the ceremonies, events, we use the amphitheater. You notice with the Bishop Square and the Graduation Square is mostly for the outdoor activities, but then any indoor activity, we have the amphitheater. Let me see if I can just peep. Right there. You can see. This is how it looks like. It's quite big. That's uh, the entry part. Go all the way up. So I will progress. I think I mentioned last time that uh, we do have uh, various hostels on this other side. Let me cross the road. Uh, right adjacent to the amphitheater is the student business center, but uh, the trees are blocking. Now, when you go with this path, it takes you all the way to the Ngong Hills uh, hostels and the Ruan Zorio hostels. Not the old Ruan Zorio, those are totally different hostels. So we have, um, that's the behind side of the amphitheater. Next to it, right here, is the business, the student business center. Within the business student center, we have uh, two banks. We have the national bank and we do have the equity bank so in the event that you're in the university you don't really have to leave the campus to go and do your transactions outside because you already have the banks here so technically we have uh, the business center starting from here going towards that direction but then this is the behind side let me see if i can show you the frontal part so uh, we have the longer not block here there are some offices right here can't remember which department they belong to or are they hostels I'm not sure so much has changed so this is the business center here let me see if I can go in uh, I forgot to show you the signpost the Kenyatta University Business Student Center the BSSC within the business center we have many things the banking halls we have a cyber cafe food court conference hall we have the Kusa boardroom that's for the leadership. Uh, I'm just going in. There's no guard. Uh, this is the equity bank right there. And the national bank right there. Let me see if I can just take a nice frontal view of the business center. Right there. This was launched by the business icon that is uh, Dr. Manu Chendaria. I think it's closed, so no point of going in. Let's go. So, Equity and National Bank are there. <laughs> Thank God the guard is not there. He would have been here asking me so many questions. So you can see uh, each floor has different things, you know. The ground floor has that. First floor has that. And the second floor has that. Now the maintenance unit here. Now within the maintenance unit, technically these are the offices that cater for all matter, matters of maintenance. But then we have the maintenance workshop, I think I showed you yesterday. I don't want to repeat. We have the Long or Not Hostel 2. Oh, guys, I'm tired. I would have gone all the way to show you the hostels. But eh, just know that this connects you to the Gold Hills and the KUCC. We have the Usambara Hostel 4. I forgot to mention, I, I just passed Kilimanjaro hostel did i pass it let me see 
then we have um that's education of drugs let me see what what's happening there so much has changed and i say directorate of catering services right here things concerning catering within the university that's the place this will lead us to the bishop square right in front there so we have a uh, usambara hostel four i think that's usambara hostel three if i'm not wrong so right here we have uh, these are some of the old architectural buildings they're still being used for different purposes official purposes for the university there's something interesting here office of the congress person usambara eradication of drugs so still all still hostels now instead of going all the way i'll just show you the bishop square and then we can connect back to the side of the shopping center now this road is called the nyayo complex road We have the Directorate of Disability Services. Then we have Accommodation Registry Office. Now, for those students who are planning to probably uh, belong to the Sambara Hostel, now we have the Accommodation Offices right here. I will just cross the road so that I take you to the Bishop Square. That's where we came from, right there. We still have the Osambara block. That's Osambara 1, 2, 3, and 4. I don't, I can't remember what was Kilimanjaro. <laughs> My memory is a bit rustic. We have the Bishop Square here. And I think there are some students who are practicing. This is the Bishop Square. It's also one of the grounds that are used for the outdoor activities in the event that the graduation square is not being used. So the Bishop Square helps us out on that. The trees have really grown. They never used to be like this. Yeah, they're basketball students. And they're quite rowdy though. By the way, Kenyatta University Sports is one of the best as far as public universities are concerned. We always win most of the time, you know. So I think they are practicing right there. Yeah. I'll just progress. I wish I could... <laughs> Let me see what they are playing. I can't see because the the sun is directly opposite me. No, there's no footpath there, so I'll have to use this. Uh, let me use a shortcut. Instead of going all the way like a car. Sambara. Oh, I need that. I need some cold water. I've been working for just one hour now. Of, uh, that's still the Sambara hostel so I want to see if I can connect to the shopping center I'm just using a shortcut footpath this is the Sambara I think the Sambara 2 my feet are aching now this tree has really grown my goodness wow Quite big. I'll have some guys practicing. I think it's hockey. 
right there. This is the back side of the field. I think I, the time I was showing you the field was right there. So there's a, that's the hockey team. Now we have um, another building here. Yeah, right, it's written Female Students in Science and Technology Success Resource Center. I've never weirdly I graduated and I've never heard of it. Then we have uh, that path takes you to the business center. Uh, this is a corner just on the edge of the of the field. So many students are practicing have uh, is that rugby? I don't know. All I know is that they're screaming. <laughs> yeah, so that's the field. Uh, students here for hockey that's the field right there it looks creepy by the way peeking through the <laughs> the mesh I have department of philosophy and this and uh, what religious studies oh yeah this is the department of philosophy and religious studies and I think on the other section is for the Kufest resource center it's a very old building Now this is also the back side of the bus park. Um, I think on the previous video I showed you about the bus park. We used to have the KU shuttle which used to link us from the main campus to the rear campus and back and forth because we have, uh, we have a very big swimming pool at rear campus. So most of the time we used to avoid swimming here with my classmates. So we'll take the bus shuttle, go to Rio Campus, swim, come back here. And it was free of charge. No one was paying for the for the transportation services. As long as you have the school ID, you're good to go. This is a bus park. In most cases, when you have different um, universities coming to play with KU, in most cases, they park here. And then you have the Directorate of Sports and games so it used to park they used to park here and then now just go to the field direct so i will pause so that i take you towards the direction of the shopping center on the left we have the department of recreational and sports management and then opposite is i think the psychology department let me see if the swimming pool area is open let me just check i hope it's open Okay, this is a simple region. That's a psychology building. This is a section of it. I wonder if it's open. I think it's closed. Yeah, it's closed. Too bad. I'll we'll have to go back. Yeah, I think for safety purposes, uh, in fact, I'll have been shocked if it's open, you know. So now right here is the psychology department. And uh, I'm going to connect to the shopping center. So this is the shopping center. Um, we also have uh, different types of businesses here. We have the salons, we have cyber cafe, you can see this is the KU coffee house and bakery. You just order your meal and uh, you see it right here. Some time back there used to be very big massive trees in the middle of the center but I think uh, they were cut. They were quite old. This used to be the bookshop way back before it was uh, this right here used to be the bookshop but then it was actually relocated to the other direction where the old library used to be so now this is the panoramic view of the shopping center this is how it looks like let me see if i can connect to the art zone side
guys I'm very tired but I think I'll have to finish this because I started we have another court here you can uh, students can play there it used to be a car park but then uh, the university realized that there were not so many cars parking there so in most cases people just park along this path and then uh, you get to the shopping center so I'm going to connect to the art art zone remember the side I showed you the science zone same way we have the art zone uh, that's the chapel road if I'm not wrong it connects you to the church In most cases, I used to have friends who used to come here to practice the SDA choir. So it used to be a norm for us after every lecture in the evening. Sometimes we'd just pass by to see whether they're practicing, you know. And you have the church there. That's for the Christians. We also have a mosque. I think I showed you in the previous, in the previous video. I'll connect towards this side cutting across the departments so we have various departments here we have Kiswahili we have German French name it all and also right in front we usually have also we have the literature department here uh, we do have uh, what's this the art zone lecture halls I don't know which building this is it never used to be there when we were students. I think the place has really changed. We have the Korean language department. Let me just say foreign languages as a whole. With Chinese, they are, a bit, they are, they are actually on the other side. Whew, the place looks deserted. Look at this. I think because the students are not here. So that's why. More offices. There are still uh, administration offices for various departments as well as uh, the lecturers' offices. And I think there are some lecturers who are still there. Now, this is the art zone area. We have the art zone 39, 44. They, they actually have different uh, numbers. My feet are on fire. <sighs> The notice board, most of the congressmen used to advertise their agendas there. So we have the art zone area. We have all these are lecture halls. And the main one being the art zone 39, I think it's right there. You remember how we had the science zone? Same way we have the art zone. Right here we have a foreign languages, you may not be able to see it. Department of Sociology and Foreign Languages Department. Right here, this is the famous art zone 39. Now, this area has a replica of, with the science on side as well. This has art zone 40. The big one is art zone 39. It's quite big. Before the Olemoyo lecture halls were constructed, this used to be among the biggest lecture halls we had. I remember there was a unit we were doing, the common units such as the development studies, HIV and AIDS, psychology. We used to be more than a thousand students, so they used to split them in groups, groups of two or three. So sometimes you find that in one lecture hall like this, you are around 450 students. So if you're late, trust me, you're late. You'll have to stay outside in most cases the lecturers are right in front with their microphones as long as it's time they start teaching they start lecturing without really asking who came who did not come 
So it's upon you to be responsible enough to attend each and every lecture. Because the psychology class, we were 550 students in groups of two. So each group, I remember our group had 250 and the other group uh, had uh, 300 or so. So that's the view of the out zone side. Uh, guys, I may not be able to go all the way to the <laughs> health unit. Yeah, and uh, I think I mentioned we have another department here which burnt down. That is the home economics, uh, famously known as the home science side. The place has not yet uh, been renovated. You can see there was some massive fire that took down the entire department. It was a major blaze. It's quite sad, yeah? Very, very sad. Can you imagine? It's quite big. This whole building went down like that. Uh, which side have I not shown you? I'll show you the hospitality department and then after that I can stop the video. getting a bit dark so I may need to finish this very quickly in front of me is the health unit the health unit building let me see if I can walk faster so that I show you the, the, the hospitality department here yeah? So this is the health unit, the student health unit. Uh, there used to be another old one right there, but then I think uh, they constructed a bigger one here. That's the student health unit. Right next to it, we have uh, the building which burnt down for the home economics department. And uh, some time back, we used to have a cultural place here. They used to serve very nice. Uh, meals and porridge in African traditional calabashes. I don't know if they still do that. So on the left side we have the School of Applied Human Sciences, the School of Hospitality, Tourism, Leisure Studies and also we have the HDA Church. There is a section here whereby you can just go in and uh, order some meals. It's like an, a cafe or something. It's quite old. They, sh they actually sell different traditional meals. Right straight is the School of Hospitality. Let me see if I can get the frontal view, then we go back. And opposite, I don't know wh what they have here uh, because it's not my school, neither is it uh, my department. <laughs> Never used to come here at all. So we have uh, the hospitality building here. Uh, you may not be able to see it well because of the barrier, but then that's how it looks like. That's for the School of Hospitality. So uh, right in front there, right there. I don't know which building that is, but then I think that's enough for today. We can go back now. So ladies and gentlemen, that was a tour of Kenyatta University, virtual tour. Okay, so guys, um, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you've not done so. And also remember to share your views, opinions, and any suggestion on the comment section. Thanks. Thanks for now, and bye for now. Cheers. Bye.